Hey guys, um, today's video I'm going to do a quick little review of two Frankie Shop items as well as I have two blazers from Aritzia. They're both the same blazer but different colors so maybe you guys can help me decide should I keep both of them or return one. So the Frankie Shop, if you're not familiar with that brand, I've never actually been to one of their stores. They only have two stores, one in New York and I believe one in Paris. And the Frankie Shop, it's almost like similar to Aritzia. They have their own house brands, but they also on their website, they carry some other brands as well. I think they're really well known for doing a very like oversized exaggerated blazer with bigger shoulders, um, their trench coats, billowy blouse is kind of like this this isn't the frankie shop but similar to this vibe a lot of their stuff is very androgynous or unisex in my opinion like as far as their jackets so essence does carry some of their products so i would suggest if you do live in canada if you can purchase the item through essence because they have a sale going on right now i would do that just because the frankie shop you can't prepay duties and their stuff is kind of expensive so i think the bill once it gets to Canada it would just make it too expensive so if I am in New York I definitely want to go to the store so with the Frankie shop stuff a lot of their stuff is made in South Korea so I don't know if stuff is made specifically for the Frankie shop or the Frankie shop just does like private label on items but a lot of their stuff only comes in two sizes so extra small small or medium slash large so normally I would always be a medium slash large like I always kind of joke I think like my true size in most things would be a medium and a half like a large is a little too big a lot of the time a medium sometimes for bottoms that is too small so with this stuff though because it is so oversized i got the smaller thing so i got extra small small so keep that in mind i'm 5'9 i have pretty broad shoulders i am not a petite frame by any means so unfortunately i think if you're a lot smaller than me this these items will not work for you there's probably lots of stuff at the store that would but just keep that in mind i personally don't like when you're wearing a blazer or a jacket with um, kind of exaggerated shoulders i don't like when the shoulders come too far off especially on my frame i don't know it just almost looks like i'm like a football player so the first item i picked up is the gelso blazer in the taupe color i mentioned in my essence like wish list video that I wanted this so again this is that extra small small you can see like it's pretty big so the shoulder on this jacket is a little bit extended so personally for me I would not want to go with a bigger shoulder otherwise you look like a linebacker in my opinion um, yeah I really like it it's not double breasted it just does up with three buttons in the middle the material is definitely it feels a little different than I thought. It's very good quality, but it almost has a little bit of like a slight neoprene feel. So that was just a little bit different. I really do like it that it has two full pockets in the front. A lot of blazers do not have that or they have kind of a fake pocket sewn in and the back just looks like this. Um, no slit up the back. So the first day I wore this, we went shopping. We've never been. We went to the outlets at Halton Hills in it's like a little bit outside of toronto they have like luxury outlets so yeah i would say i don't really find too much there but um it definitely seems like it's hit or miss but if you live around toronto i would recommend going there if you've never been it was pretty cool um anyway when i wore this that day i got so i probably had at least six people come up to me and compliment me on this and honestly i think it's maybe the shoulders because i mean the color it's nice but it's nothing special but there must be something about it just because normally when you go out people don't really say that much to you so yeah i do really like it though and i would recommend it and i'll show it in the mirror after and on essence the regular price was 460 dollars. it was marked down to 350. i'm somebody um i don't mind spending money on blazers though because that is the one thing i wear to death i always get my money out of blazers even if a blazer is like a thousand dollars i trust me i wear it enough i'll get my money's worth so this is like that perfect oversized light color blazer i actually didn't own any light color blazers for size reference, I have a few Acne Studios um, blazers that are oversized on me. They're a size 40. So this I find is even a little bit bigger. So I don't know. I would say this is pretty comparable to a size 40 
jacket and it has a little bit of extension on the shoulders so and this is an extra small small so it does definitely fit big because in other any other brand that would be considered a large for sure so here's the frankie shop gelso blazer so again this is the extra small small and it fits you know it's plenty loose as well so that's how big it is so it is that perfect oversized blazer i like personally when sleeves are this long um i don't know i like it i know that's not how a suit jacket is supposed to fit but i like that oversized look so the end of my shoulder is right there so you can see it's extended at least an inch i wish it wasn't extended quite so much but yeah, it is what it is. Um, I just think, keep that in mind. If you're very petite, I think that looks funny. It's almost like you're wearing your dad's coat. So I don't know. I think there's like a fine line between being oversized and just kind of looking like you're playing dress up, but. And there it is from the side. So yeah, it's really nice. It looks nice even if you're not wearing anything under it at all too. It almost has a little bit of texture blended into the fabric. So the next Frankie shop item I got was the Eugene trench coat. So this was also on my wish list. And okay, there's good and bad about this. So I believe it said on Essence, they have the exclusive black color. I think on the Frankie shops website, you can only get the taupe. I've tried on, I should give it another go, but in the past when I've tried on tan, like traditional trench coats, it's just kind of washed me out because I'm so pale. So I thought I would probably get more use out of the black one. And I am in need of a trench. They marked this down to 300 and something Canadian. And I find for a trench coat, that's actually quite reasonable. Trench coats I find are pretty timeless. So you would have this, you could have this your whole life. It will never go out of style. So, okay. The problem is I got the extra small small again and on the model, the model online is very thin and it definitely looks oversized on her, but I don't think too oversized, right? And the only thing I will say about this is I think it's actually too big. I never thought I would say like something that's an extra small small is too big, but it is so big for reference. I'll show you in a second. I got my fiance to try it on just because like a, a man could definitely wear this coat too because I was like this even feels bigger than his jackets and so he's like 6'1 probably like 225 pounds and it fit him perfect so I feel like this is almost like equivalent to like a men's size 50 jacket which is huge so I don't know I've tried it on a few times now I've went back and forth should I keep it or not so I don't know I'll try it on you guys let me know in the comments if you think it's too big I would suggest if you're any smaller than me this is not going to work for you so here it is Let's see. so it doesn't look too big on camera but so it has these little, I forget what they're called here. These can be removed, but I did try doing that and it looked a little bit silly because the button is still there. The shoulders are a bit extended. Um, it does have a, a belt here. It's pretty long, so it's a bit wrinkly. So it's like that, it's pretty long. Um, the back is like that, just a very classic trench, right? It has nice deep pockets on the front, double breasted. I will say this coat is amazing. It's exactly what I was looking for. I wanted an oversized trench, a little a little bit bigger shoulders. Love the black color. It feels such good quality. It's very like heavy, durable fabric, but it doesn't feel too heavy when you put it on. It's amazing. Like the cut is perfect. It's just too big. So if you are looking for a trench and you're bigger than me, you have very broad shoulders, you're taller, um, maybe even if you're pregnant and you want a coat that you could wear throughout the fall or winter months because this would be a good layering piece this will definitely grow with you it's so oversized um, so yeah let me know in the comments below when I try it on what you guys think can I pull it off I think unfortunately it just looks too big which is a shame I wish they would make smaller sizes I understand like you know it's beneficial to the company if they only have two skews of the sizes it's more profitable for them it's just too bad for them because i feel like you're losing out on so many potential customers if something like this is too big on somebody like me that is not petite the good thing is if you happen to be plus size this is probably one of those like secret brands that will work for you
I just wanted to mention because I'm wearing it. Um, I'll show you a little close up of this earring I grabbed from the Essence sale as well. This is Justine Clonquet. It was marked down to like $32 Canadian and it's just like a singular earring and I think it looks really cute and they had lots of different colors. So I'll do a little close up and put a picture of it. So I would re recommend this for sure. And here is the Frankie Shop Eugene Trench, you guys. So I don't know, let me know. Now I think uh, I don't mind it. I don't know, I keep going back and forth. I'm really indecisive. That is one of my worst qualities, I think. So sometimes black is a little bit hard to show all the detail, but I, I really do love it. Like, I feel like it's the perfect style of trench. It's just very classic. These pockets are extremely deep, so you can put stuff down there. It's not gonna fall out. Um, yeah, so I'll show you. That's kind of what it looks like open. Um, yeah, the only thing, like, look, my hand is covered up. Um, because it is big. I don't know. Maybe in the win maybe in the fall or winter though, when you have like thicker sweaters or like a hoodie layered under, it won't look so big. Um and that's from the side. So there it is from the back. I, I just think this is where it looks really too big. So this is my concern. So I, I buttoned it up right now, so I'll show it to you before I tie it. But like, I feel like you could fit another like half of my body in the width here. Like, <laughs> anyway, I'll show it to you when I tie it up. Okay, now I have belted it. So like, I had to pull it so tight and kind of loop it through. And I think I just answered my question. Like, I, I kind of think this looks ridiculous, like how much extra fabric there is. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I think it has to go back. I don't want to send it back, but yeah, I do really like, there's a Totem trench and an Acne Studios trench. The Acne one was sold out in my size, but they're like a thousand dollars with tax. It's going to probably be like $1,300. This was like 300 and something. So I was really hoping this would work. Yeah, but definitely the Frankie Shop items are super good quality. So if you think it would work for you, I would highly recommend it. It's just keep in mind, um, these two items are very oversized. And definitely, I think this earring is a cool thing to grab. This would make a really good gift for a friend too, because it's just something unique that you don't necessarily see and it's very affordable. So I just wanted to show you two blazers I got from Aritzia. So one night I was in there and I saw this one on a model or sorry, the mannequin in the window. They only had one left in the whole store, this color, and it was an XL and the mall was closing. So I just kind of looked at it quickly. I'm like, oh yeah, it'll be fine. I'll just take it home to try it on. I really liked it. It was just way too big. And to be honest, like normally in something fitted, I would be a size medium. So keep in mind, this does fit true to size. My true size would be a medium. But I opted to get the large because I wanted it a bit oversized, but the large still gives me lots of room. So if you want it to fit like a normal blazer, true to size, or you could size up one size if you want it more oversized fit. So this is called the Memories Blazer. This was 228 Canadian. So this color is light taupe. So it's not real leather, it, but it feels like soft buttery lambskin. This is honestly the softest blazer I've ever felt. It's so comfy, has a really nice satin lining. I really like it. Um, are these real pockets? Yep, these are real pockets as well. I also got this one and this one is called Constant Camel, the color. And yeah, it looks like this. Um, I think I might actually keep both of them. I, I really, really love them and I know I will wear them a lot. So yeah, just let me know in your comments down below. But yeah, I'll show you everything in the mirror right now. So here's the Memories Blazer in the camel color. So let me know how you guys like this. I really like this color. So this is the size large, like you can tell, it's still plenty roomy. So if you want it fitted, definitely get your true size. And here is the light taupe color, Memories Blazer. Yeah, so I really like both of them. I don't know. I think I actually might keep both of them, but if you guys really dislike one, let me know in the comments below. I, again, really like both of them. I mean, it easily does up. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, I'll link everything in the description below. Bye.